with you on this Tuesday morning with another video update for our midweek snow blitz. We've got a very tough morning commute coming up on Wednesday. Don't let the amounts in the forecast fool you. Just because we're not predicting a foot of snow does not mean this is not going to be high impact. Uh, we are expecting a quick accumulation coming at a bad time of the day. And even though it's going to change to rain in the afternoon, uh, it's going to be a tough slog for a handful of hours Wednesday morning. Overnight, the National Weather Service did upgrade things to a winter storm warning in western Ohio in the kind of pink colors here. This includes Toledo down to Dayton, the Cincinnati and Indianapolis areas as well. Farther to the east in our television viewing area in eastern Ohio and western PA, it's a winter weather advisory. Even though the amounts will not be as high here locally as they will be in western Ohio, again, still very, very impactful weather coming up for Wednesday morning. Our thinking has not changed much as far as the overall timing of things. A pretty quiet day today, but as we head towards daybreak tomorrow morning, this is a 5 a.m. Your clock time's up here. So this is a couple of hours before sunrise. Uh, the snow will be pushing in. I think it'll be snowing in most of our area by 6 a.m. at the latest. And so as the sun tries to come up, as, as it gets a little bit light outside around 7.30 Wednesday morning, already we're going to have probably an inch or so worth of snow on the ground and already things will be slick by daybreak on our Wednesday. So even as early as 7 a.m. it's going to be getting pretty tough out there. Snow will then continue at a pretty good clip for a few hours all the way through mid-morning. Here's a 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and by 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock I think this is when we're going to start to see a transition from pure snow to kind of a snow sleet mix, especially in our southern viewing area at first and then from south to north that mixing line will uh, make some progress. So all this uh, kind of peach and pink through here, this is stuff other than just pure snow. At first it'll be some sleet pellets. There might be a brief period where we have rain and sub-freezing air. So that's freezing rain. I don't think that lasts very long, but that'll be around midday. A transition from snow to a, a sloppy mix. Now as we get into the afternoon, here's noon, one o'clock, and by one o'clock to two o'clock, I think in most of our TV viewing area, uh, we're above freezing. And we'll see a, a a scattering of rain showers. The weather will be much less impactful as the afternoon wears on. So as a lot of people head home from work late in the afternoon, everything will be damp, um, but we'll be above freezing and it'll be a lot better than first thing in the morning, that is for sure. The only real change to our uh, overall thinking with this system is after a period of rain showers, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, the snow shower activity that re-emerges then as the colder air wraps in later Wednesday night into Thursday, that snow shower activity could be enough to, to lead to some additional accumulations. This may be more than just some flurries. Uh, there may be some lake enhancement involved here with the wind blowing over the open waters of Lake Erie. There's no ice on Lake Erie, of course, since it's been such a, a mild stretch. And so Thursday could even be a little bit tricky at times with some snow showers coming and going. Snowfall accumulation uh, numbers. Uh, this is from the National Weather Service, but it kind of jives with our forecast that we issued uh, yesterday. Two to four inches is basically what we expect, and that's not two to four inches over 12 hours. We'll get that two to four inches in about a five hour time frame. Uh, there could be snowfall rates of up to an inch or so per hour at the peak of this around 7, 8, 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. That's the kind of snow rate that it makes it hard for the road crews to keep up with things and uh, makes for very difficult travel conditions. Notice again the, the higher snow totals will be out here where there could be some seven or eight inch amounts in some spots out towards the Toledo area. So that's the Wednesday part of it. Now again the snow shower activity late Wednesday night into Thursday uh, we won't expect as much snow out of that but still not going to be shocked even if some of these numbers are a little bit high in our viewing area. Not going to be shocked if we pick up an additional half an inch to an inch or so worth of snow. Um, late Wednesday night into Thursday, especially on non-paved surfaces. Temperatures Thursday afternoon will get up to about freezing, so a lot of the roads by Thursday afternoon should be okay, but in the morning could be still a little bit slick in spots as a result of some residual overnight snow showers. So again, snow blitz Wednesday morning, quick accumulation, two to four inches in, the matter, in a matter of about five hours. Then some rain showers Wednesday afternoon, snowflakes return late Wednesday night into Thursday, There'll be some localized additional accumulations of perhaps up to an inch or so, uh, making for some additional periods of, of perhaps tricky travel on Thursday. You know we're your source to keep you updated, so make sure you have the Storm Tracker 21 app downloaded so you get the push alerts on there anytime we post uh, interesting or new co uh, content. You can get the hourly forecast breaking down the chances 
of snow hour by hour as our Wednesday progresses. And you can, of course, track the uh, snow and then the mixed precipitation and the rain on the interactive radar on the Storm Tracker 21 app. It's the best weather app you're going to find for our area. I'll see you this evening on 21 News at 6 and 11. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, and thank you for watching.